A new report questions if a major chunk of change collected by the state meant to investigate insurance fraud has been misused. $1.5 million to be exact. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here to explain. Madeline. Yeah, well, Jessica, it sure sounds ironic. A chance that fraud is taking place with a fund meant to investigate fraud. We spoke with John Franchini, state superintendent of insurance, on this possibility. We don't think that there is, but we know it's not done right. We got to correct it. By law, the state collects fees from authorized insurers in our state, about 1.5 million in total, with the purpose of that money being to investigate insurance fraud, medical, automobile, home. And by law, there should be a standalone account for that money to keep detailed track of how it's being used. But Frankini says there's not. He says the money is not missing, rather it's floating in the general fund for the office of the insurance superintendent. In search of accountability, an outside agency was brought in to investigate. Frankini says this investigation has been years in the making. A copy of the initial investigation released days ago suggests there's a high risk of fraud, embezzlement, and or misappropriation or misapplication of monies for the fraud fund because the report states their tracking of the money is poor. The audit, though, was a little critical of us. If you haven't looked at it all yet, you're going to say that. And I'm not saying it's wrong, and I'm not saying it's right. Which is why, Frankini says, his office will be conducting a second, more thorough audit for solid answers. Now, on Friday, Frankini's office reached out to State Auditor Tim Keller, alerting him of the initial investigation and that the second audit will soon be underway. That second audit will be forwarded to Keller when completed. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Madeline. That second audit is expected to be done before the year ends.